What's going on, everybody? Bukhari Siraj here, TDS Training and Education. If you're watching this on my That Dude Siraj uh, YouTube channel, thank you guys for watching. And if you could subscribe, hit like, and share it in uh, all platforms if you can. All right, if you find it useful, of course. You know, if you don't, hey, I get it. Uh, I've been trying to do this review for some time now. Um, I got a shot timer. You might have seen it in a couple other clips, a couple other videos, um, but I never really went in depth as to the shot timer itself. Um, this is a pie shot timer, P-I-E. Now, this shot timer um, I picked up for, I would say, a fraction of the cost um, of some of the other well-known used shot timers. Um, my thing is, I don't need it to be super robust and can handle all, uh, all apocalypse, you know, apocalyptic storms and being thrown in the water. I just need something that's going to accurately uh, measure my times with my shots and be responsive, be uh, loud, and get the job done. So as you can see, this is a special pie. <clears throat> and I'll try to put the link on. So this is the link down at the bottom, rather. So this is uh, kind of how it comes. I think it has some other color options, which is pretty cool. Um, it does say that it is for IPSC and IDPA, uh, which, you know, if it qualifies for use, it's there. Great. Comes with a user manual. Uh, let's see. It has some different things in here. <laughs> you might need to be able to read a couple other languages. No, I'm joking. It does have... Uh, English in here as well. You just got to kind of find it. <clears throat> okay. So honestly, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty well laid out um, in terms of the instruction manual. So I've used it a couple times. I do like it. It is uh, chargeable via USB. And it does come with, you know, pretty nice box, nice packaging. Um, I can't complain about that. It does have some specs uh, on the back of it. Uh, it comes with a USB charger. This is the old USB 2.0, I believe, uh, charger. <clears throat> and then it came wrapped in this bag, which has been in and out of this bag. Finally throw away that bag. All right, hopefully we're still charged up. So this is what it looks like here. Again, as you can kind of see, it just fits in the palm of my hand. Kind of looks like the old school stopwatch. Has the buttons at the top. Um, it does have this clip that kind of comes out. But if you guys are familiar with uh, some of the different walkie talkies on the market, um, <clears throat> then you've probably seen these clips before. This clip actually works with this guy here what it does there's two little holes that's pre-drilled and i do have the screws i'll probably put that on off camera so this way you can clip it on and it clips it so this way it sits upside down so when you look down at it uh you can read it okay so it can be like on your belt and then you can flip it up and be able to see it so i think that's uh pretty pretty nice there i believe you can download uh from it um, but I'm not sure. I haven't really uh, looked at <clears throat> what that RJ11 jack is for. So I'll probably take a look at, in the instructions and get back to you on that. If it's relevant for me, it's probably not. But uh, let's see here. We're going to just turn it on. So you just press and hold. I think I'm pressing and holding the right button. There you go. It's starting to start up. Okay, so right now I have this on uh, a random delay. All right, which means it's going to start uh, from five and you can set all these uh, all of these parameters that is going to start from five and then it's going to count down. OK, um, and then it will read the splits. So what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to throw on my ears. <clears throat> and I'm going to throw on my eyes. All right, and still have a couple of guns out here from my class. I'm just gonna go with the 22. I'm gonna shoot the Glock 44 just because it's for all the Glock lovers out there. Mm. 
All right, so I got four rounds in here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do, let's do three rounds. Uh, we'll do four rounds. Okay, we'll do them at slightly different speeds here. All right, so we're hot. Okay, uh, let's see what we come up with. Right there. Keep counting down. Would help to hit the right button. I was shooting left-handed. <laughs> All right, so in this mode, what happened is we had a countdown that could have been anywhere from, I think, five seconds to two seconds on a delay. And then it had a par time of five seconds. So I shot four shots in about 4.4 seconds. Now on the top, let's see how well you can see that. This one says start, and this button has a review slash stop. So we can review by hitting the review button. And that's, so that's the first shot. Um, that was at one second, uh, 1.52 seconds, okay? Uh, the split was, so from start to the first shot was 1.52. So that's how you can read the split. The second shot was uh, 2.54 seconds. So the split between the first shot and the second shot was 0.93 seconds. And then we have the third shot was at 3.6 seconds and the split between the second shot and the third shot uh, was 1.15 seconds. And then round out the fourth shot. Again, that was at 4.04 .04 seconds. And the split from shot three to shot four was 0.44 seconds. So that's how that mode works. This is actually the mode that I, that I use the most. Um, because I not only want to uh, capture my time, right, uh, in between my shots. I'm also looking to get a certain amount of shots in within a certain amount of time. So if we say, all right, we got to get uh, two shots on from draw within 2.5 seconds, right? Then I am going to set <clears throat> the time to 2.5. So now real quick, a good thing is that if uh, once I have that data, if I want to just roll right back into my next rotation, I just hit the start button again. So this way, you know, you don't have to really reset it. You just hit start again. It starts to count down again randomly. And then you go into uh, your routine. So we're going to hit stop there. Okay. Now to get into the menu, you want to press and hold the review slash stop button. That's going to bring you to the menu. All right. Now with these little arrow indicators here, so that one there is, oh, come on, light. So that one there, as you can see at the top, it has kind of like a short dash. So that means if you click it, it's going to go down. And then you have the one uh, on that side, it has kind of a long dash at the top. That means you press and hold, and it'll take you into a longer menu. So if I want to change the delay, I'm going to press and hold. That's going to bring me into the delay. So it can be instant, it can be random, it can be fixed. So let's say I always want to have a three second delay. All right. So I am going to change it to fixed. I'm going to select fixed. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, so then on this side to actually select that long dash on this side, short dash will take you back uh, to the previous menu. Long dash. Oh, let's go back in there. Uh, back to delay we're going to go down to fix we want to select fixed we're going to press and hold now you can see the little asterisk thing move down to fixed okay and then we want to customize what that fixed is so we're going to go to customize long press there we go now we have a delay of five seconds 
At this point, you can use the plus or minus buttons. So we're going to go back to a three second delay. It's going to be a set three second delay each time. All right. And now we're going to go back and it should have saved that just to make sure. Let's just make sure. Yep. Went back in. It's uh, at a three second delay. Let's go on back. All right. <clears throat> so what else is down here? So instant. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go back again. So now we're going to set the part time. Uh, let's go to, or let's see, what is mode? So mode, press and hold. Um, so you have live fire if you are shooting airsoft or dry firing. Um, I believe you can select airsoft. Um, you can use it as a stopwatch. Uh, you can have, so then you would set the countdown from, from the uh, stopwatch. All right. So let's look at fire. Oh, since we're on regular live fire, which you would use for, um, you know, shooting a regular pistol or rifle, uh, the typical firearm. All right. Let's drill down into that menu. So we have filter and sensitivity. What's the filter? Uh, filter is set at 10. Um, I believe that's going to be for like ambient noise. Uh, so if you have a, actually, you know what? Let me double check on that because this says, okay. So looked into the instructions, didn't find anything about filter. I have no idea what it is, um, but it's set at 10. I'm going to leave it because the shot timer has been functioning pretty flawlessly. Um, so we're going to leave that, but we are going to go back to sensitivity and we're going to go down to, uh drill on down there all right so sensitivity is set at five um and i have that set at five because you know i am using this with uh the 22 rounds as well as nine millimeter and other um higher power rounds so i wanted to make sure that it picks up those 22 rounds but not so sensitive that it's picking up uh racking the slide or uh you know swapping out max so five i can tell you pretty much works pretty solid um outside of that you know um you just have to kind of play with it <clears throat> so let's see what else we got here let's head on back up the menu <clears throat> all right um oh i did figure out what this jack is for so in airsoft mode you can connect this to there's like a special airsoft target that will register hits. So that's, you know, kind of an option, not really relevant for me or most guys in the firearm world, but, um, that is something that just does have that capability. You know, if that's your thing, which is perfectly fine. All right. So let's head on back and let's see, where are we going to go here? Yeah, let's go back system what do we have in system let's see what we have in system uh you got your language you got eco mode you got rfid um so if there are some wireless interfaces that you can interface with if it's on the same uh if it's on the same frequency so these are functions that really is going to apply to me um and you know how i'm utilizing the system so again with uh pretty much this main menu delay par uh mode that was, that's really going to be the primary uh applications here so let's go ahead and give it a whirl i'm going to go ahead and mount the clip on there and i'll do a little bit more shooting how about that okay so one more thing i want to show you before we jump into a little bit of live action in the par mode, okay, um, well, sorry, in par, right, when we set uh, our par setting, let's dive down into that. So we have time and cycle, okay? So if we have a time of five seconds, then that means that in my routine, so if I'm going, say, um, you know, two, 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 right? Then in five seconds, I need to, after the beep, I need to go two, 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 two. After five seconds, it's going to beep again and it's going to stop recording. So <clears throat> if you are within that, that frame, you're good. If you're outside of that frame, you're going to know it. So you can, you know, set that accordingly. 
also there is a cycle. So you can go down to cycle. Let's select that. I only have it to cycle once, but let's see what happens if we do a three count cycle. All right. So we're going to save that. And also I am going to bring the time back to instead of five seconds, I'm going to make it two seconds. Okay. All right. All right. So our delay <clears throat> is fixed at Oh. Oh, got to go down to customize. Uh, at three seconds. So we have a three second delay and then we have a two second part time. All right. And we have a cycle of three. So without actually touching this, this should go through the cycle three times before it stops. So I'm going to load up three rounds and then in each cycle, we're going to take one shot, see it measure and go from there. OK, so I think we have ourselves set up. We're shooting an M&P 22 this time. I switch hands, all right? So I'm going to go for the steel. The steel is about 10, um, about 15, four, about 14 yards from the steel. Um, so we're going to take three shots. I'm going to try to do this nice and steady here. Let's see what kind of skill we got here. All right, and we're going down. There it is. All right. Now, my question is, since we went through three cycles, can we check all three cycle times? Hmm. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's do this together. Because uh, normally, all right, so we got the upper right is what we would click to cycle through, right? Huh? Well, I guess there was only. Hmm. So I do believe that if you set it to cycle more than once, you're not going to be able to check those previous par times. You're only going to be left with what's um, what's left on the on the final cycle. Uh, let's just do that again real quick. So it's going to go beep, shot, shot, beep, beep, shot, shot, beep. Okay. Right. All right. See if we can, we can do this right. All right. Let's see what we got. Again, we got six shots. My assumption is that we're only going to be able to see the last two shots of the last part time. All right. Let's see what happens here. Got to work on these one hand follow ups. Okay. All right, so let's see here. All right, so yeah, we have splits. So, yeah, first shot was point seven nine. Second shot was 1.62, so you had a split of 0.83 between those last two. But it, again, it only we're not really pushing, you know, the metrics here. I'm, I'm not even hitting the steel. So, but uh, if so, if you do do a cycle with this shot timer, you're only going to be able to get the cycle count from the last, uh, uh, the last par time in that, uh, in that, in that rotation. OK, so something to consider. So usually I like to just, you know, keep it at one. So this way I can see everything um, as I'm going through. You just got to pause a little bit. Uh, but, you know, there could be some drills where, you know, that's effective. We're not necessarily worried about your splits. Maybe you're just trying to make sure that you get the shots off, we'll say, within those two seconds. And you're just listening for the audible. You know, that's perfectly fine. And I think that'll kind of that'll get you, a, you know, you know, 
getting lead down range pretty quick. So something to consider. Um, because you guys can see it does have, you know, uh, a back like that's there. Um, I think it has, I'm not sure about this lockout button. Uh, I have no idea what that just is. So when I hit the little lock, it brought me to that screen. No idea what that is. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that, uh, yeah, I have no idea what that is. Um, so again, if you do happen to get this guy, you know, um, play around with it, see if it fits your needs. Um, I think it's been pretty good. So I'm actually going to get this clip on and get a little bit more, uh, practice in before I got a little bit of drizzle coming down, even though I got blue sky directly above me, but, um, cool beans. Hopefully that helps. Um, again, shot timers are great when you are moving on to that next level of training. Uh, where we've gotten past, uh, we've gotten past, you know, getting on target, proper trigger squeeze, proper sight alignment, um, you know, proper sight picture. And now we're trying to push it a little bit. We're really starting to gauge uh, our progress against our own uh, capability. So we're adding that stress component. We're getting a little bit of speed. We're pushing the limits and hopefully progressing. <clears throat> um, shot timers are great for that. Uh, you can use them, you know, with friends, you can use them by yourself. Cause again, as you can see, uh, once we got the clip on it's, it'll be right on the belt and, uh, you know, it'll be right with you. So you can move, you can, you know, address different targets, move about the range, be in different positions. And, um, you know, it will, uh, let you know how you're doing. Now, of course you got to be able to watch your shots and, uh, be on target. But, you know, again, I say, Hey, shoot paper that. All right, steel is good. If you're just looking for that ring, you just want to know you're in an eight inch or 12 inch, um, you know, group, or if you're shooting six inch groups, um, you know, then that's great to let you know, hey, you're within that range. But if you really want to see your spread, or if you're starting to miss a lot and you're not getting that audible ding to let you know exactly where you're shooting at, um, then go back to paper. So this way you can really see where the group is, make the adjustments and get that group to uh, shrink back in. Uh, against the clock so this way now and again you're shooting faster but you're still maintaining that accuracy that's very important shot timers help with that so all right so i'm at three yards um, normally doing this i would have this over the top but uh just because we are if we can get this guy on there it is it's coming on uh just because we're using the shot timer um i'm going to uh, just kind of leave this out. So I'm just going to be drawing. Uh, I am going to change the cycle count back to just one. And I'm also going to change the part time to uh, from two seconds to 2.5 seconds. All right. And we're going to leave the delay time at uh, three seconds, that's fine. All right, good to go. Uh, I'm gonna be going for this little target here. Uh, I think that's a six inch, should be a little six inch target. Ground's a little uneven up here, but that's okay. All right. Great shot. 1 1.81. 1 1.57. 1 1.25. That one was in the in the green. One point five, one point seven seven, one point five two, one point five three. 
1.51, 1 1.76. Is that two dings or one? 1.41, uh, 1.55. I mean, the split on those, that shot was a 0.14. Not bad, just got to hit the darn target the first time. All right, so hopefully that gave you guys a little bit of information on the uh, uh, the Pi Shot Timer. Um, again, it's pretty inexpensive, but it does the job. I haven't had it, uh, actually, I haven't had it die on me um, yet. I actually had it uh, kind of stored away for months and I turned it on and still had charge. So uh, plugged it in for a little bit, charged up. I mean, it holds charge for a while. I'm pretty sure if you had a fresh charge, you could be out here for hours and uh, it's gonna keep up with you. But um, if you got any questions or comments about it, definitely drop it in the link. Again, if you're one of my students, uh, you know, give me a holler if you want to talk specifically about this or uh, if you want to uh, try it uh, when you're out here on the range sometime and uh, give it a whirl. All right. Again, hopefully that's helpful information. If uh, it did help and, you know, answer some questions or uh, piqued your interest or whatever, definitely drop a comment, hit the like button. As always, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, you guys continue to be safe. Happy shooting.